So here tonight, with a view opposing spending tax dollars on health, education, and welfare, is Mr. Floyd R. Turbo. Mr. Turbo. <laughs> Turbo American. Since I've been appearing here, a lot of viewers have written in asking what my initial R stands for. It stands for Arthur. <laughs> this bleeding heart sheep drip station in a recent editorial is telling me where I should put my tax dollars. This raises the question, kiss my loophole. <laughs> Why should my tax bucks go for education? School didn't mean diddly squat. I didn't go past the fifth grade and look at me. I learned what I know on the streets. That's the best education of all, the school of hard rocks. Nowadays, a company won't hire you unless you got a degree. The other day, I went for a job and the boss said, let me see that sheepskin. I said, I ain't got no sheep's in, but give me two hours and I'll bring you a moose's head. <laughs> they want our taxes to give raises to school teachers. Those teachers got it made. They get off on all the president's birthdays, like Washington, Lincoln, and labor. <laughs> teachers have got it great. They get to spank other, somebody else's kids. The teachers are always talking about corporal punishment. Why should they punish corporals? <laughs> what about lieutenants and generals? <laughs> and millions are spent for food on welfare for the poor. I say no more handouts. <laughs> this station likes our tax money to go for food stamps. Why do poor people have to mail food? Why should our money go for old people's dental work? They never smile anyway. <laughs> and then they chop off money your, from your paycheck for Social Security. Some, some old lady can live it up on a park bench talking to a pigeon. <laughs> then when these old geezers get their Social Security checks, what do they do with it? They blow it on used clothing and cat food. <laughs> and why do they take deduction from my taxes to pay in, insurance for disability? Now coal miners want disability. What crybabies? Working in a mine is a great job. You get coal on your face and you can make like your Al Jolson. <laughs> you never have to spring for a pair of sunglasses and you can watch bats do it. sticks its nose in everywhere, like during duck season, they make me buy a hunting license. This is stupid. Why do I need a license? I want to shoot the ducks, not drive them. <laughs> Let's use that money to build highways for hunters so I won't get caught in a traffic jam and have a deer right on my fender. <laughs> Putting our tax money into capital punishment can be saved. Why not build electric bleachers so they can fry more than one guy at a time? <laughs> Now they want to spend my tax dollars to give raises to guys in the army. They shouldn't have to pay soldiers at all. I, for one, would do it for nothing. So would my sister. <laughs> Being a soldier is fun. They give you free ammo and you get to go to a foreign country and sleep with women named Anna. in World War II in the Pacific. <laughs> and I got to shoot at short guys with buck teeth and cameras. <laughs> and with all this women's lib stuff, Uncle Sam goes and spends millions on a Susan B. Anthony coin. Oh, come on, a broad on a coin? Now when you flip it, you gotta say, what'll it be, boobs or tails? <laughs> We 
should use our tax money for learning centers for women. Teach them how to walk to the kitchen and stay there all day till it gets dark, then go to the bedroom. <laughs> the government doesn't know what it's doing. They take from Peter to pay Al. <laughs> Now the government wants to take away our credit cards. Big deal. I always carry cash anyway. Carl Mullen says, don't leave home without it. Well, Carl, I've been leaving home without it for 23 years. And if you don't believe me, ask my wife. I say, if Uncle Sam wants more money, let him do the honorable thing like our congressman. Take a bribe from a foreign country.